as if Dar dunya the dunya is a place for those who seek superiority and fasad. Notice? Just take the opposite meaning of the ayah. The opposite meaning entails that a dunya will be a place of superiority and fasad. Huh? And this is corroborated by the ayahs in the Quran. Tafakhurun, bil amwal, wal anfus. All these people show off superiority. What is superiority? I am better than you. I look def better than you. I have more money than you. I have more powerful than I have more power than you. I own more than you. I, uh, uh, the superiority. Wafasad, as if superiority always comes with fasad. As if those who think they are more powerful, and those who think they are more rich, and those who think they own more, as if this leads them to, to fasad. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna al-insana la yatga an ra'ahu stagna. Insan will have tugyan, will be a tyrant if you give him some, some uh, reasons of power. Notice. And therefore, Qarun, look at what Qarun did. All these things, what happened? Huh? The ayah comes and ends the story of Qarun. Al-Mansur al-Abbasi, Al-Mansur, after he built Baghdad, of course, Al-Mansur among the, uh, uh, the rulers of Bani al-Abbas, the Abbasi uh, dynasty. Al-Abbasiyin, of course, just like the Ummah is before them, uh, people, the, their rulers were uh, the soldiers, and uh, they ruled by the sword. They ruled by the sword. Now, طيب. Al Mansur al Abbasi came, and after uh, after he built Baghdad and all this, and he sat down. Someone threw an arrow at him, but this arrow did not hit him. It came right between his legs. He picked up the arrow and he read some poetry on the arrow. And that poetry on the arrow sort of uh, made him uh, think about things. Huh? And among the uh, things that in this poetry uh, uh, that, that was written on the arrow, uh, you were fooled by the peaceful nights that you've been getting. These peaceful nights, now you're, you became such a great king, now you have the power to oppress, huh? you have the power to do this, and huh? you are Al-Mansur, as you say, as you called yourself. Huh? He called himself Al-Mansur, who gave him victory anyway? And victory comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by the book and the authentic sunnah. But anyway, people give themselves titles. Huh? So all these things and, and this, and because you were fooled by the peaceful nights you were getting. Huh? But exactly when the nights are very peaceful, that's when bad things are planned for you. That's when things are going to be happening to you. Huh? And then he talked, the poetry is long, I don't want to go through it. And among it, then he say, the poetry says, huh? if you think that time now is to your advantage, think of what's going to come to you. أَمَا تَرَى الْبَحْرَ يَعْلُوا تَعْلُوا فَوْقَهُ جِيَفٌ don't you see that the ocean, on top of the ocean, there will always be dead bodies. But the pearls will always, will always be deep down in the bottom of the ocean. So not necessarily because now you're on top. It means that you are high and mighty and honorable and all these things and all these names that you wish to call yourself with. Just because you are on top of things doesn't really mean that you're good. Because on top of the ocean, dead bodies surface, but the bottom of the oceans carry all the jewelry and the pearls and all these things, huh? As if life is like this, because life is always like that. The struggle between the good and evil. The struggle between right and wrong. A struggle between al-haqq wal batil Struggle between al-hurriya wal abudiya Freedom and slavery. And this is what life is. And therefore, as if this hayat dunya is filled with these things. And if you look at the stories and the events of the Al-Anbiya, alayhim as-salam, wal-awliya, wal-uhama, wal-hukama, and all these people who are great people, huh? you look at their lives, their lives was not easy. Their lives were not easy. We talk about Imam Abu Hanifa, for example. Or radiallahu anhu, you say, and all these things. Oh, Al Imam Al-Azam, some people call him, etc., etc. All these beautiful names that you give to Imam Abu Hanifa. Imam Abu Hanifa was whipped, went to jail for years, was whipped in, in public so many times. Imam Shafi'i, same thing. 
Huh? All the, so many people. Those people who are, when do they, when people realize the value of these people? After they depart, after they're gone. But while they're there, they're fighting them. And do you think that Imam Abu Hanifa was this? Everybody, oh, Imam Abu Hanifa, mashallah, let's go take, 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 seek some knowledge? No. Let's go try to get rid of this man was the going thing at that time. Let's try to go destroy this man because why? Abu Hanifa came with truth. Do they want to hear the truth? Usually the truth is unpopular. Who can circulate things? The one who has the power. The one who has the might. The one who has the money. The one who has this. Huh? Therefore, تِلْكَ الدَّارُ الْآخِرَةِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if He's telling all of us that the end of the prophets and the awliya and the ulama and the hukama and the ulama and those people who struggle for the goodness of people, the end of them will may not be in this dunya, maybe, but may not be in this dunya, but the akhirah is for them exclusively. تِلْكَ الدَّارُ الْآخِرَةِ نَجْعَلُهَا لِلَّذِينَ لَا يُرِيدُونَ عُلُوًّا فِي الْأَرْضِ they do not seek superiority on earth. Wala fasada. Nor do they seek fasad. Wal lil muttaqin. Fasad is corruption. Corruption in the belief. Corruption in the dealings. Corruption in this. Corruption in that. People's lives are filled with corruption. And this corruption is destructive. Al Quran wants us to be constructive, not destructive. Huh? Not that you have fasad. No, that you have bilad. You have you building things. You build things. You don't destroy things. Why would we? What would? Why would people seek superiority over others? There are many things. Number one, they're fooled by what they have. You have some money. That fools you. Oh, I, I can do this or I can do that. Huh? No. You have some power uh, that fools you. I can do this, I can do that. Or you have an inferiority complex. Huh? And to overcome inferiority, you must show yourself as better than the others. Huh? While people are actually all, Kullukum li Adam, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, All of you go back to Adam. Wa Adam wa min Turab. And Adam is from sand. From clay, what, what's different? Huh? We talked about that in the past khutbah. Naam? Therefore, Islam tells you as if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to tell us in this ayah indirectly that if you want to be among those who are successful in this dunya before the akhirah then, you have to avoid these two things. That you do not want ulu, fasa, or, or to be superior. You're not seeking that in that sense, in that destructive sense. Wala fasad, and you do not commit fasad on this earth. This way, you, it may make you eligible to go for the Adar al akhirah And this, not seeking superiority, or not wanting superiority in that sense, I, uh, th uh, I, we talked about that the other day, when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, for what Ibn Majah narrates, a man came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and was overtaken by his, by the, Majesty of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you were to say, by Haybatun Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay. And started shaking, the man started shaking. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told him, Hadith Sahih, Hawan Alayak, take it easy. Take it easy. إِنَّمَا أَنَا بْنُ مُرَأَةٍ مِنْ قُرَيْشِ كَانَتْ تَأْكُلُ الْقَدِيدِ I am just like a uh, son of a woman of Quraysh that used to eat this dry meat. Qadid, dry meat. Huh? Take it easy. Huh? You see the Prophet ﷺ walking with children and taking his children on his, his own shoulders. And Hassan and Hussein, he takes them and, and he holds them and he kisses one. Look at this, no superiority among the other people, just like anybody else. Uh, no security guards and no this and no, uh, now you have, you have, before you go this, you have to get permission and clearances and uh, everybody can go. You want to go to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you go to the Medina, you go to the Masjid of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and you say to him whatever you want. Can you now go to a mayor without having appointments and uh, secretary has a secretary and a secretary has assistant secretary and assistant has also an assistant and the assistant has five assistants, etc, etc, etc. Umar al Khattab, you all know what happened. When the messenger of Kisra came to him and came to Medina and said, Where is this man who is ruling this Ummah? They told him, uh, Go look under the tree, he's probably sleeping. So they, when he went and he said, no, and The poet says,